Well, this is the block that my mother bought her first house on. And um, that was a really big accomplishment for her coming from where she comes from. I was born in Brooklyn initially, and then my mom was only 19, so she sent me back to my grandmother's house in Haiti, you know, while she got her life together and got a job and got some sort of income coming in. So I came back when I was three, and then we were living in Queens. And then my mom got her, her nursing thing popping, and then we moved to Long Island. And so then we started out at that house a couple of blocks over. And it was a two-family house, and we used to live on, on the top, and the other family used to live on the bottom. Oh, that was my bedroom right there. That's crazy. So they turned it, I guess they built a balcony there, and then on the back of that was my mom's bedroom. And that, that window there was the living room. My grandmother's first house that, you know, I remember is like, it was like a little hut with with like bamboo as the roof. Like when it rained, it poured in the house, you know what I mean? So this was like a big accomplishment for her being 19, coming to another country and making it. But this is, this is where it all happened for me. I um, used to <laughs> lie to my mom and tell her I was staying after school and go to a studio around the corner from here. I looked up in the phone book recording studios and I was like, a recording studio around the corner? Hmm. So I went there. This is one of the places where I started recording. Hopefully he's not gonna look at me crazy. <laughs> But this uh, production company, it's called Amongst Friends Production. Oh, I know what they got. They have the school, because they own a school over on Elmont Road too. But I used to pretend I was at the school and be over here recording. I came looking for you guys, but you wasn't at the house. Okay. So Chuck is the guy that I was working with, which is his son, and they own Amongst Friends Productions together. And this is I was like, my first real recording was here with them. <laughs> God, you're talking about, you know, a lot, uh, lot of good memories. We always know a riding skill will put her somewhere. Oh, it's a small town in Elmont, you know. And she was flying solo and come up in the studio. As a matter of fact, I think, you know, she make a few songs with those guys. Mm -hmm. She disappeared. <laughs> and we hear from her, you know, she's in California. And one day I was sleeping, Chuck said, Pop, I want you to wake up. I said, what happened? Say, she's a big girl now. <laughs> that just empowered me like to just be whatever it is that I was. I got an opportunity with Hit Boy to come to Atlanta and songwrite, because I was always a writer. Um, so I was just putting lyrics to music. Singing, I never wanted to be a singer. I wanted to be a, a lawyer or a manager. And then the singing thing kind of just happened by default. I was going through it and I needed to sing about it. So I did. And I remember being in the studio with Beyonce and she was like, wow, I can't wait to like have this. I was like, you said it. As a little girl being in that attic, I spent a lot of time. And there I would just write and I would read and I would paint and I would, I just became a real artist, you know, in my mom's upstairs half. So this blog represents my beginning. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. 